Hey guys, welcome to th this video. And before this video starts, I want to, I will, uh, I just want to say we, I am publicly opposing Canadian Bill C10, which reg, which is going to hurt my channel in Canada. That makes thirty eight percent of my viewers. But uh, if you want to know more about this bill. Click in the uh, click right over here where my mouse is, right over there, and the you will get a video on how to how to what it is. Basically, it regulates their free speech and takes away non-Canadian content. And I do not post Canadian content, but they are thirty-eight percent of my viewers, and I will stand up for them since. They watch my videos, and I'm standing up for the others as well. Anyways, let's begin. So, as you can see here, I, we are talking about Biden's State of the Union address, or some people point out, a not official State of the Union. Well, whatever you would like to call it, joint session of Congress or State of the Union, he proposed some policies. So here I made some ranks and decided to rank the policies he proposed. So I have super popular. That means it is approved by both Democrats and Republicans. This is not it has nothing to do with in relation of Congress. This is 100% just the just the uh, American people like Republicans could support it, but the Republican Congress could oppose it. Popular is over 50% Somewhat popular is like 51%, barely above the 50. Mark 50-50 is like evenly split, and unpopular is below 50%. So the first thing we have here is $15 minimum wage. Now that is actually quite controversial. Most people think it like that. Most p people are quite shocked that... A $15 minimum wage is this controversial yes it is this controversial since the US has not rose it for so long you are expecting the US to double the minimum wage so to some Americans it does seem radical other so a $15 minimum wage is evenly split maybe if it if I'd say a 13 and $11 minimum wage are in somewhat popular and popular but a fifteen dollar no, that's not that's doubling the minimum wage. No, it's in fifty fifty. Then we have withdrawing from Afghanistan again, more controversial than we expect. Somewhat popular. Establishment Republicans continue to oppose it, and there are more establishment Republicans than we know. Mitch McConnell, Mitt Romney, they they're opposing it. Some Republicans are supporting it, some are opposing it. That's why it's somewhat. Assault weapons ban. No, that is unpopular. Many Americans support gun control measures. They put in super popular. But gun control is way different from banning assault weapons. And many Americans are in support of the Second Amendment to fullest extent. So, unpopular. Biden's China stands. That is super popular, especially from every side. Republicans, Democrats. No, especially Republicans, they want to be especially fierce against China. And they have, and many have had the concern that Biden would be weak on China. Biden addressed this concern of Americans and he told them that he would not be weak on China and that he, w so that got him the support of quite a lot of Republicans. Not in the Republican Congress, the Republican Congress had just talked, but Republican is it, yes, they did support it. Climate change is super popular. Again, surprising. Climate change is less controversial than we think. The only reason it's being opposed is by Republicans. Um, the Republican. Let me think. What was? What am I trying to say? 
Republican Congress. Yeah. Climate change is heavily unpopular, and I suggest the... Rep I mean, no, it's not unpopular. I suggest that the Republicans seriously change their stance on climate change. Because by now, even their own party is supports action on climate change. And now, I'm going to show you something very quickly as evidence. Climate change. Okay, here. Wait a second. Here we go. I'm a Tea Party conservative. Here's how to win Republicans over on. So basically, I don't need to do any explaining. Basically, she says. Oh, wait, we have a Mark Kelly ad. Everybody likes political ad. Say that you're with us to hold this Senate seat in Arizona by making a $20. Okay, bye. She is a co-founder of the Tea Party, and she supports Donald Trump. For advocacy for clean energy. Yes, M many Republicans actually do support clean energy. Equal pay for equal work. That is super popular. Jobs is popular. Jo the American Jobs Plan. Transgender stance is popular. Medicare negotiating drugs. That is somewhat popular. Systematic racism is unpopular. As many continue to smash on the fact that systematic racism exists. I'm not saying it does, but I'm saying that it is not a an accepted fact. So what I'm saying is it is not universally accepted in America that it is tr happening. As many Americans cannot get their mind around the f around that you inherit racism. And that is something conservatives are pushing. They're saying systematic racism is saying you inherit racism. You don't. Republicans have been making very strong positions on uh, systematic racism. And it's really helping them. Biden's Russia stance that super popular. Both Republicans and Democrats want to be super fierce against Russia and China. Tax increased. Somewhat popular. It, it might have been better if he didn't say the line where he said, Trickle down economics has never worked. It kind of hurt his agenda. The vaccine super popular. Everybody likes the vaccine. Okay, that's it for this video, and thank you for watching. Remember, oppose C10. Of course, you don't have to. I'm just saying you should. Actually, you know what? We have extra time. I'll explain the bill. The bill is... Click here, and the bill also says, basically, my channel is going to be regulated. They are not going to see my content because it's not Canadian enough.